Okay, can you see me? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? All right, let's get started. I am Octavia, you can call me O. We got another workout to do today. It's gonna last for about uh, 30 minutes. And uh, we got five sets to do today, uh, but we're gonna do them in triple sets. Um, if you've seen uh, me doing some other workouts, we're going to kind of follow along on the same pattern today. Uh, all we're going to need is a chair or if you have a workout bench at home, great. Use the workout bench. Uh, if not, you can use a chair. Uh, if you don't have a chair nearby, you can use the edge of your sofa. You're also going to need a uh, step bench. If you don't have a step bench, you can use a step stool. Um small step stool, anything really um, that's a little bit higher up off of the floor. Um, those are the only two things that you're going to need for this workout. And again, it's going to be about 30 minutes. You want to do a three to five minute uh, warm up before uh, starting any workout uh, that is not provided here. So you need to do that. I'll give you a link uh, below to a free warm up that you can do at home. And at the end of every workout, you'll also want to do a nice uh, stretch and I will give you a link to a stretch routine uh, that you can do for free as well after this workout. So uh, grab your water, grab your chair, grab your step bench and we're gonna get started with the 30 minute workout. Five sets to do today. We're gonna start with the first triple set and the first thing that we're gonna do are jumping jacks. We're gonna do 50 jumping jacks, then we're going to do some split squats, and then we're going to do some crunches. Then we're going to take a 60 second break. So let's start off so we can do our 50 jumping jacks. You can do them modified or you can do them the full way. A modified jumping jack would be like so, stepping out to the side and then back in and then stepping off to the other side, hands up, back in. No jumping, but for the full way, you will jump with it, just like so, okay? So we're gonna do 50 jumping jacks in five, four, three, two, one, go. Belly button in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Next thing we're going to do are split squats, okay? For our split squats, we're going to be doing 15 of these on each leg. So I want you to first start with your right leg forward, foot flat, and your left back. Toes on the floor, but your heel needs to be up, okay? Lean slightly forward with a nice neutrally flat back. And you're going to lower, lower your knee down towards the floor and then press with the front leg mostly to stand. We're going to do this 15 times in five, four, three, two, one, go. So we'll go down, exhale up, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. We'll switch legs, left leg to the front, right leg to the back. Remember, the heel should not touch the ground. And let's begin. One, two, lean in over. Three, flat back, four, belly button in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do some crunches. So if you will take yourself down to the floor for a crunch, we just want our shoulders to come up off of the mat just a little bit, maybe uh, 30, 40 degrees. You're not going to come all the way up. Feet are flat on the ground. Fingertips towards the ceiling. And we're going to pull that belly button in and we're going to take it up 15 times in five, four, three, two, one, go. One, I'm just coming up a little bit. Two, just a small crunch. Three, four, five, try to keep your butt down. Six, on the ground. Seven, don't push. Eight, nine, try not to push with your butt. Ten, like that, try not to do that. Five, four, see how my butt is down? Three, I'm not doing that, don't do that. Two, one, that would be considered a cheat, so keep your butt down. 60 seconds. Muscle and water break starts right now. So I'm using a stopwatch to keep track of breaks. I urge you uh, to do that too. If you don't have a stopwatch, you can use your uh, cell phone. I usually have a timer on your cell phone. So use that when you are doing your workouts because you don't want your breaks to be too long. You want them to be just enough so that you can catch your breath to be ready to do another set, but um, not too long because you want to keep your heart rate up and you want to be burning as many calories as you can. So do keep a clock nearby and use a stopwatch and use your smartphone. We got 15 more seconds and then we're going to get started with our second, our second triple set. We're going to be using the step bench to do some toe taps. 50 of them in five, four, three, two, one. Break time is over. Right foot is going to start on that step bench, and we're going to alternate upper body and lower, just like that. If you want to modify and not jump, you can alternate step. But we're going to do 50 toe taps in five, four, three, Two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. The next thing that we're going to do are push ups. We're going to do fifteen push ups. You can do them full or modified, go at your own pace. So we're gonna hit the floor again. <clears throat> For your push up, you want a nice straight line, straight line from your shoulders to your hips and knees. So as you can see, I do not have a straight line. So what I'm gonna do is position myself so that I do have a straight line. See the difference? No. Yes. So this is the modified version, or you can bring your knees off of the ground into a full version push-up. You don't want your elbows to be all the way in. They can turn out just a tiny bit, about 45 degrees. So full or modified, 15 and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Inhale down, exhale up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, oh, three, two, and yes, that one. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do 
is a reverse crunch. So we're going to be using our lower body as the weight instead of our upper body like we did in the first set. So for a reverse crunch, you're going to be lying on your back. Feet are flat on the ground. Hands down, palms down on the ground. And you're going to use your lower body. So knees are going to come into your chest like so. Because your lower body is the weight. We're going to do this 15 times in five, four, three, two, one, go. One, pull your belly button in. Two, you can tap the feet on the ground. Three, we return to the start. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep that belly button in. Ten, five more. Four, three, two, and one. One, all right, 60 second muscle. And water break starts right now. During your breaks, you want to give yourself a little bit of sip of water or whatever fluid that you have. Um, it'll help you stay hydrated throughout your workout and it'll help you get all of the fluids that you need to get in throughout the day. We've got two sets of our triple sets complete. And then we're going to get working on our third set of a triple set in less than 30 seconds. Um, as I mentioned before, this is a approximate 30 minute workout. I'm not going to pause or edit this video at all so that you can see exactly how long this is supposed to be taking you. Okay, start to finish. This is the way that you need to do this workout. All right, five seconds, break time will be over and we're gonna start with high knees. We're gonna do 50 high knees. So you're gonna place your hands up by your chest, just like so, hands are gonna be up by your chest, just like that. And you're gonna raise your knee high, as high as you can. You wanna try to meet your palm alternating like that. This is the modified way to do this the full way. You're going to jump. You're going to stay up on your toes. See how I'm up on my toes like that? And you're going to jump with it. So modified, just knee raising or full, you're going to jump with it. We're going to do 50 in five, four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. The next thing that we're gonna do is a step up. So you can. Use the step bench if you have one, or you can use a step stool if you have that, or you can use a chair. Just know if you use the chair, the step up exercise itself will be a little bit tougher because you're challenging your muscles to work a little bit harder with the, with the height, okay? So for the step up, I'm going to do it uh, both ways just to show you the difference. So for the step up, you're going to place one foot flat on the step and you're going to push down with that one, just like you're stepping up a stair, right? And then you're going to come back down, but you're going to use the leg that's on the step to control yourself coming back down. Don't place your heel on the ground. Keep the heel up. So I'll do half this way. Just like that, and back down. 15 in five, four, three, two, one, go. One, pushing with the right leg and lowering. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we need to switch and do the other leg, but I'm going to switch and show you with the higher step. So I'm going to use the chair for this one, but you can already see I've got to raise up higher. Okay, so we're going to do 15 still on the other leg in five, four, three, two, one, go. So one, my heel is not coming down, two, watch your heel, okay, three, watch your heel, four, Five, six, seven, keep pulling your belly button in, eight, nine, see the difference, ten in the step height, five, this chair one is tougher, four, if you need to hold on, three, you can totally do that, two, just don't cheat yourself. One. All right. Okay. So the next exercise we're going to do is called a bird dog. Um, we're going to be on all fours and we're going to be on the ground. This is a great core workout, working the front of your core, your back, and your sides as well. Okay. So we're going to be on all fours. You want your wrists to be under your shoulder and your hips and your knee to be in line too, okay? So not this and not that, okay? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend our right leg out just like that, and we're going to try to do that straight and not lean over on the side, okay? Then you're going to extend your opposite limb just like that, belly button in, looking down at the ground. We're going to do this. Okay, alternating. So then you're going to extend the other leg out and the other arm out, just like that. We're going to alternate back and forth 15 times, okay? In five, four, three, two, one, go. One. Exhale when you reach for two, three, pull your belly button in, four, five, Six, remember, try not to lean. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, four more, three more, two more, one more time. All right, so now we've got a 60 second muscle and water break. It starts right now. Okay, so that means we got three, three sets complete. We got five total to do, so that means we got two more sets to get done, okay? And again, this is about a 30-minute, about a 30-minute workout, so we got to keep moving right along and not break too long. Don't cheat yourself with too long of a break. Water. And again, I'm not editing any of this because I want you to see exactly how you should be doing this workout, okay? We're going to be moving on to set number four. Set number four, we're going to be doing front jumping jacks. We're going to be doing push-ups again, and we're going to use the chair for dips. So for front jumping jack, you're going to be swinging your limbs forward like this and not the traditional way with everything is out to the side. Okay, break time is over. You can modify and go forward like this. I'll show you, try turning to the side like that. Or you can jump with it, but you're still alternating limbs. We'll do 50 in five, four, three, two, one, go. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty times. The next exercise that we're going to do, we're going to be doing push ups. Again, 15 push up, full or modified, just like I showed you on our first set. Okay, so heading back over to the floor, 15 push ups. I'll show you the modified throughout since the first time I showed you the full. So remember, we need a good alignment. So keep those hips forward, nice straight line. Okay, shoulder width apart with the hand, elbows out a tiny bit. Belly button in, 15 and five, four, three, two, one, go. Exhaling on the up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. Keep your hips forward, four. Three, two, and one. All right. So now the next exercise we're going to do are chair dips. Okay? If you got the couch, you use the couch. So we're going to start seated at the edge of the chair. My butt is on the edge of the chair. Then I'm going to pull forward just so you can see me well. You're going to place your hands to the sides of your chair. If you have a bench, you use the bench. Your elbows need to be back, pointing towards the back of the seat of the chair, not out like that and rounded forward. Shoulders back, see how I pull them back? Elbows back. Slide your bum off of the chair. Now to modify this chair dip, you're gonna keep your knees bent like so. If you want to do it the full way, you can extend your legs out so that your heels are only touching the floor. This makes it harder, okay? Bent or full, but we're going to be going down. We're going to be lowering our body down and pushing up with straight arms. We're going to do 15 of these, okay? I'll show you the modified and the full in five, four, Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll switch to full. Eight, nine, ten. Or you can do a half of full and modified. Five more. Four more. Three. Two, one. Okay, once you're done, you're gonna walk your feet back, push your butt up onto the chair. Let's take another 60 second break now. So we got four sets complete. We got one more to do so that we can complete all five sets. And we will be done in less than 30 minutes time, okay? so. Uh, as you can see, keeping track of your breaks will really help you follow the flow of this workout and get done in the right amount of time. Don't take too long here. We got 30 more seconds of our break, so grab a water. And in less than 20 seconds, we'll get working on your fifth and final set. We're gonna start with an exercise on the floor. I just like to roll up my seats because I'm hot. <laughs> Called a mountain climber. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the floor with mountain climbers. So to do that, we're gonna be on the floor just like so. Okay, all fours. So to start a mountain climber in a modified way, you're gonna keep your knees on the floor starting. Then you're gonna extend one leg back Bring it forward, other leg back, 
bring it forward. I'll turn to the side a little more so you can see me better. So like this, bring it back. Like that, bring it back, okay? To do it the full way, you're going to stay up in a plank position like this, okay? And you're going to alternate, boom, with a jump, just like that. Alternate, alternate, okay? We're going to do 50 mountain climbers in five, four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, for fifty times. I hope you kept your belly button pulled in the whole way with those. Next exercise we're going to be working on is a reverse lunge. So we're going to be basically lunging backwards. To do that, we're going to start lunging back with the right leg. So you're standing, then you're going to step back with the left, with, with the right, I'm sorry, right. Foot, toe down. Don't you let that heel go down. And then you're going to let the right knee go down as much as you can comfortably. Forward lean, flat back. Then you're going to push up with that left leg mainly and come back to your start. We're going to do this, lunging back and standing 15 times in five, four, three, Two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. You should feel it. Six in your left thigh. Seven. That's the working one. Eight, nine, ten. Left thigh mostly. Five. You should feel it there. Four, three. Two, one. We got to do the same thing on the other leg. So I'll turn this way so that you can see me. Do the same thing. Reverse lunge on the other leg. Fifteen and five, four, three, two, one. Go. So stepping back and then stepping back to the start. Two, three. Four. Now your working leg is the right leg. Five. Six. So you should feel it. Seven in your right thigh mostly. Eight. Right thigh mostly. Nine. Ten. Five. Belly button in. Four. Three. Two. All right. One. Awesomeness. So the last exercise that we're going to do are bicycle crunches. Okay. So we're going to be on the floor, on our backs, doing bicycle crunches. We're going to do 15 on each side. So that means we're going to do a total of 30 bicycle crunches. Let me show you. <clears throat> So, your feet are going to be flat on the ground. Feet are flat on the ground. Then, I'm going to come down a little more. I want you to be able to see, really see everything here. I got a really huge window behind me, and the sun light is changing, if you can see. So, I want you to really be able to see everything here, So, especially with my arms. So hands to the sides of your head, just like so, okay? And you're going to alternate knee to elbow like that. Try as best you can to cross, to cross and make your elbows and knees touch. So that will be a one, and then we're going to alternate and switch on the other side. That will be a two, okay? So one, two, just like that. My feet go back to the ground for a modified version. For a full version, you're gonna keep both feet in the air, okay? 
and you're going to extend one leg while bringing the other knee in and crossing, touching knee to elbow. Then you're going to alternate just like that. Oh, here's my bike. Just like that. Okay, so modified or full, don't cheat yourself. Go at your pace. This is your workout. 30 of these in five, four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Bicycle crunches. And you got yourself your very last break, and you can make it 60 seconds just like usual. Okay, so as promised, this workout took about 30 minutes. If you have a smart watch, I encourage you to look at it, see how many calories you burn. Um, I have a Fitbit here, so uh, if you want to connect. Uh, via Fitbit, uh, you know, send me a comment below and let me know there. Um, if you don't have a smartwatch, I do recommend that you pick one up. Um, you know, which whichever brand that you prefer, it really doesn't matter. I just I just have a Fitbit. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You should be breathing pretty heavy, uh, like I am, because you should have been pushing yourself for this workout. Um, as I said it before, didn't edit anything because I want you to see exactly how you should be doing this workout. Everything was done at home um, because these workouts that I'm creating are home based. And I want you to see that you can do everything at home. Super easy. You can do it and you don't need much equipment, if any at all. OK, so uh, that was it. Uh, Hope to see you again uh, for my next workout. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to stretch and uh, see you soon.